Let us rejoice and exalt for joy, for the Lord of all has shown his love for a holy and glorious virgin. Dear brothers and sisters, we offer this mass for Teddy Stedman, who died recently. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We celebrate today Blessed Mary Rose de Rocher, Virgin, who founded the Sisters of Mary, uh, Jesus and Mary, for the education of the youth. May she intercede for us who are still in our journey toward holiness. So for us to be worthy of offering this Holy Eucharist to God our Father, let us first call to mind our sins and open our hearts to his mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most grievous thoughts. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, who and kindle in the heart of Blessed Mary de Rocher the flame of ardent charity and a great desire to cooperate in the mission of the Church as a teacher, grant us that same active love so that in responding to the needs of the world today, we may lead our brothers and sisters to the blessedness of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian captivity, the exiles prayed, Justice with the Lord our God, and we today are flushed with shame. We men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we, with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets, and with our ancestors, have sinned in the Lord's sight and disobeyed him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God, nor followed the precepts which the Lord set before us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God and only too ready to disregard his voice. And the evils and the curse that the Lord enjoined upon Moses, his servant, at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. 
for we do not hear, heed the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, but each one of us went off after the devices of, our, of his own wicked heart, served other gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O oh Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Gorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty dead done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented sitting in a sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon as the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. 
Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, yesterday Jesus appointed other disciples and sent them to go and proclaim the good news. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Yes, those disciples went to proclaim that good news. They are not back yet to our Lord Jesus Christ. But before they came back, we have this gospel I just proclaimed. Jesus is so disappointed, blaming those people from those two towns, Chorazin and Bethsaida. Woe to you! Why? Because they listened to the word of God, but they didn't repent. The word of God should help us to repent, to change our way of living, to stand for the values of the gospel. Those people of those town, they didn't do likewise. That's why Jesus is disappointed. Woe to you. And there is a kind of contrast there because those who are not Jews, the Gentiles who listened to the word of God, they repented. People of Tyre and Sidon, they were themselves in socks, clothes, put ashes, sign of repentance, and believe in the message of the gospel. The message of our Lord Jesus Christ as sent by God the Father. But those people from Chorazin and Bethsaida who are Jews, they should be the first one to welcome the message of the Messiah sent by God the Father, but they didn't. You see how the stranger are more sensitive to the word of God. How about you and me? We are baptized we are disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. But how do we live our everyday life? A question to ask today. The gospel, the word of God we hear every day is helping us to repent so that we can be true followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because that word of our Lord Jesus Christ requires repentance from within our hearts. So may the Holy Spirit help us so that every time when we listen to the word of God, we can also act accordingly. And may we keep faith 
and trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, the one sent by God the Father for us to enjoy life, for us to have faith and trust in God. So may Saint Mary Rose de Roche intercede for us today. Following her example, we also can stand for the values of the gospel, especially in the education of our youth today. Many things going on in the world today. Many kinds of teaching that are not necessarily good for our youth. So we disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have the truth revealed to us by Jesus, sent by God the Father. So let us stand for those values of the family, those values of the gospel, so that our youth can have good education for the church tomorrow and our society tomorrow. And may our Mother Mary always intercede for us. Dear brothers and sisters, let's now present our <coughs> petition to God, our Father, for ourselves, for the church, and the entire humanity. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that their words may be received with reverence as we would wish to receive Jesus and his Heavenly Father, in whom, whose name they speak. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the oppressed and the marginalized, the refugees and the poor, the unborn and the elderly, that their human dignity may, re may be respected and that the powerful may come to their aid. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may never lose sight of our failures to observe the law of the Lord and listen to his prophets, so that our hearts may always be soft with repentance and ready to begin again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who need Jesus to work his miracles of healing and hope in their lives in a time of illness or discouragement, that he may come quickly, quickly to their side. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our dear ones who have died may pass through the gates of final repentance in the presence of the divine judge and soon find his mercy reaching out to enfold them. And in a special way, we pray for Teddy Stieberman, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our Father, we give you thanks for the gift of life and the gift of the Eucharist we <coughs> celebrate today. Please listen to our prayers and grant us the grace we need to repent when we listen to your word. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. And may his mother, our mother Mary, always intercede for us as we pray. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with me. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <coughs>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of John Hammond for the praise and glory of his name. For I glory and good of all his holy church. Hear us, God, our Savior, that as we rejoice in commemorating the Virgin Blessed Mary Rose de Rocher, we may be instructed by her loving devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Teddy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Martha, Saint Mary Rose de Rocher, Saint Bruno, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant uh, peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with joy, let us exchange the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my room. But only send the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord.
On behalf of those who are not receiving communion today, we offer this prayer, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the Blessed Mary Rose de Rocher, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended going in peace, glorifying God by your life. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Holy God.